right, Taurus. Let's see. And soulmate, what's going to happen second week emotionally, energetically? Night. Okay, go get of your environment. You're going within to find how do you want to continue becoming that trailblazer, that trendsetter. And you're using the personnel of water. Okay. All right. So in the second week, you're becoming that go-getter. You have the drive. You have the dedication and the loyalty to go after what you want to start in your environment. So the life lessons that we have learned has led us like Aries in their reading to activate what we want to have in our environment as an enterprise, as an endeavor to embark on. So, yes, you're showing your honorable side, yeah. People are seeing you as very kind, so it's time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. You are a guardian angel. You're a guardian angel in this world. So much that the middle of the second week, you're getting your wings. You're getting your archangel wings to become that messenger of what do you want to go after in your life. You're very wise. People see you as very wise and studious. You are in line with your mind, body, and soul. Now, see how you have the he and her and hermit? You're combining your action along with what gives you abundance. You're combining strategy with solutions. That's a good thing. So by the second week, in the middle of the week, you'll spend time in a quiet meditation. Like was mentioned in the Aries reading. Meditation is not just sitting in a quiet place and um, you don't always have to do that. Going, taking a nap, going to sleep, um, resting, um, taking a nice warm hot bath, um, shower. Any place where you are at one with yourself, it doesn't matter in what way. Even if you're just laying, listening to music, that's meditation. That's where you'll get exactly what you want to manifest from doing that. That by the end of the second week, you're seeing or you're tapping into the personnel of your world. You're becoming that personnel, meaning you're getting all the paperwork, all the researches and resources that is needed to have the pillars that you are making in your world more prosperous. So you're using your intuition. Yes, like the waters, you're becoming very sensitive to synchronicity. And your artistic side will be there to not only anchor you, but give you the right acknowledgement from others that you need in your environment or in your world to, to be seen as that winner, to be seen as worthy. So you're bringing out your friendly side, whether that means um, talking to a Cancerian, a Piscean, or a Scorpion. These three water signs will be there where you can play with. That you can play with and, and really figure out what is it gives you to propel in life, to give you that push in life. That by the third week in February, again, four, uh-huh, Cancerian. So if you're talking to a Cancer, they're here to communicate with you and cultivate the foundation that you're setting forth. Ah, see, again, the Piscean, you have some waters, water sign around you, or a person in your world has water elements or water 
energy in them. They have the Cancerian side of them where they might come off as very communicative. Um, they're all about cultivating and making things happen and creating stuff. If you're talking to a Pisces, they're all about giving you that push in the perimeter that you didn't even see coming. Like, they might bounce off ideas with you or awaken awaken the matriarch within you, Taurus and soulmate. To awaken that matriarch, you are that map in the world. And a Pisces, 12th house, a Pisces is going to awaken that aspect outside of yourself. First, it's going to, they're going to show you that aspect of who you are inside. And it will give you that permission to bring it out inside into your world, into your world. And for that, you will be knighted as the king of your foundation. Whether you are feminine, you'll be the king of your foundation. Masculine, king of your foundation. Soulmate, king of your foundation. So, third week, you're in a house of cancer. So you know what is to cultivate. And when you're cultivating, again, you are that dragon. You are that desire. You are that desire. That's very magnetic, Taurus and soulmate. When you are that dragon, that desire, everyone is drawn to desire. And you're going to utilize that in how you build your foundation in the third week. So contentment, peace, and abundance. Ah, was felt earlier. A happy home life. If you are changing residence or you are remodeling your home, it will be very successful in the month of February. So the successful completion of a project is near. Okay. By the middle of the third week, as you went in and found out exactly how you want to become that trendsetter in your atmosphere, you're in the Pisces house, the 12th house of awakening. Pisces is using all 12 zodiac signs to become even more prosperous, to become that pioneer. Aries helps to set it off in activating. What is it that you want to activate, Taurus? What do you want to become more active in? That when you are realizing what you want to be active in, it will connect you to your second house of Taurus, which is all about your values and your standards. You see that what you are activating is aligned with your value. You're seeing what you are activating is aligned with your worth. Because at the end, you're going to be communicating what activates you, what gives you that value. What gives you those standards? One plus two is three. Once you realize what you want to activate, your value and your standards, you're going to be communicating that. And that will be your awakening. That will be your aha moment. That acknowledgement. And you won't be the only one acknowledging that. People in your environment, in your world, will be acknowledging the awakening aspect in you. You're now elevating. You're connecting to your higher self. So you're looking at things from a different perspective, Taurus and soulmate. A temporary standstill would need to play, take place. Before a plant sprouts in its full potential, it's, it's a seed. It is very small. You see based on the color and what it can be, but it always takes that seed to operate in its own synchronicity, in its own source, in its own way to start. And as you're looking at a, a seed or you're looking at, if you're thinking about growing plants, this would be a perfect time. Because growing plants is kind of like how we grow as a person, as people. And if we can monitor plants, it's like monitoring ourselves as a person. Maybe I will be starting doing that, replanting again. I haven't planted in a year, so I'm going to replant again. And by planting will give us a way to practice how we want to be as a person. 
and how we want to be in alignment. So it's important to be yourself. To be yourself, yourself, who you are. You went inside to figure that out. Now you're bringing it outside into your foundation because people at the end of February will be noticing you as the king of your foundation. You're being seen as very motivational. You're becoming more motivational. You're seen as idealistic, but you're bringing your ideals out. And that's truly igniting. Your ambitious nature will be seen more. You'll be you be aligning more with your ambition. Your ambition is your desire. It goes back to Cancerian side of yourself, that cultivator. You're bringing out what cultivates you in a more, uh, I would like to say, ambiguous manner. <laughs> so, focus, like Trinity, focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision. Communicate with vision. Communicate with vision. Communicate with vision. You have a lot of vision cards here. So, advice from someone creative. And that could be me, Key. So, Trinity, masculine, feminine, soulmate, Taurus, moon, sun, moon, and rising. You're stepping into believing and knowing that you are becoming that boss in your world and not just any boss you're being patroned as a king king of your foundation that means people are looking at you as a king you are seeing yourself as a king and to be a king that means you're kinetic k-i-n-e-t-i-c Kinetic physics. You're physically becoming that pioneer. Wow. If this reading resonates with you, press the like button. The like button lets me know as the reader of relics, as the oracle of the 12 signs, the 12 stars, that this reading is not as relevant as entertainment. That this reading is also relevant in your reality. Share video with others and subscribe. If you would like to have me as a key, a guide in the next step or in reading what will be your next step or ways in which you can utilize what is read in your world, Look in the description box below for further details on how to commune with me and how to cultivate with me and I with you. I love you, Trinity. We will see you on the other side.